Hi, Dr. Pam. This month is gut health, and if you haven't been in the clinic in a little bit, you may not have heard about some of the new testing that we've been doing um, to look at gut health for patients. Last fall, we started to implement a new stool test, and the stool testing that we're using is a DNA test, and it helps us to identify any bacteria, yeast, or parasites that you may have. And I feel like this has really been a game changer for us because so often people come in maybe with hormone problems um, or maybe it's fatigue or they're having a lot of food sensitivities. And if you only simply treat the hormones or you're focusing on the food and the person has some sort of chronic gut infection, they're not going to fully improve. And if you've seen any of the research coming out in the past year, the gut truly is the key to health. And all those different bacteria in your gut produce things like serotonin, GABA, even estrogens. So if your gut is not healthy, there is no way your hormones are going to be healthy. So if you're interested in doing um, any type of stool testing, uh, what we're using, it's called a GI map. You can go onto the website um, for the company and check it out if you wanna see a sample report. And we even can see if somebody's reacting to gliadin. Um, there's a couple other markers on there as well, like calprotectin, which can show us if you have maybe something like IBD, which is irritable bowel disease, or maybe if you're at risk for colon cancer. Uh, there's also another marker on there that shows us how your body is metabolizing estrogens. And for some people, if they're not metabolizing it really well, those estrogens get recirculated back into the gut. And why this would be important is if you're, if for example, a woman who's wanting to do bioidentical hormone therapy. Um, as many of you know, when I do bioidentical hormone therapy, my goal is to try to do it as safely as possible. So with some of our different functional medicine-based labs, when I can see that maybe you're not metabolizing estrogen properly or you're not breaking it down, then I have a better idea of how to support you nutritionally. So that way, when you do take the hormones, we're gonna do it as safely as possible. So if you have any questions, please go ahead and give us a call. Um, and, you know, again, the gut is the key to health. If you've seen any of our videos on Facebook, you know, I've talked about that a lot. The importance of fermented foods, um, the importance of cr including traditional foods like bone broth and things like that in our diet, because these are all the things that help to get our gut healthy. So that way we're not prone to having these infections happen. Thank you. Have a great week.